Welcome to Let's Go Eels Level 2 Game Setup. We begin by unfolding the board where everybody can see it. The next step is to place one pawn at the top left space on the track. This is where the eels spawn in the ocean. Place a pawn on the number 3 heart. The hearts are the eel's life tracker. If the hearts ever fall below 1, then the eel has died and you must start over. While the eel is in the ocean, it has a maximum of 3 hearts. When it crosses over the river mouth into the river, then it has a maximum of 6 hearts as it's maturing. To pass over the river mouth, a player must play an orange card. Next, shuffle the encounter cards. Place the deck where everyone can reach it. Then, shuffle the journey cards. Deal out to each player the number of cards appropriate to the amount of players. In a two-player game, that's five cards. Three players, four. In a four-player game, three cards. And in a five-player game, two cards. Next, as a group, review the Tikunga. This will help you resolve any issues you may have in the game, such as not knowing which of the cards to play from everyone's hand. Reviewing it, doing an exercise, will help you come closer to resolving any conflict in the game. So finally, you're ready to start playing the game. The youngest player starts the game, and play proceeds clockwise. On a player's turn, they roll the die and move the pawn at that number of spaces. If they encounter a large icon that indicates an encounter card should be played, then they flip the top one from the deck and resolve that card. The top of the card shows what happens to the eel. Sometimes you may lose a life, sometimes you might have to roll the die again and move backwards that number of spaces. The encounter cards represent the hardships that the eels encounter on their long journey to safety. Next, each player holds out a journey card face down and flips it simultaneously. They together decide which journey card to play that gives the eel the best chance to survive. But remember, to go from the ocean over the river mouth into the river, someone must play a orange card to go forward, which immediately increases the amount of lives that the eel has from 3 to 6. Play proceeds this way around the table until either the eel loses all of its lives or the player successfully managed to navigate the eel uh, to safety in the drain pipe at the end of the river.